Hey guys, welcome to this amazing platform of PW. My name is Srishap, your physics teacher, and in this small video, I will be telling you about the tips, right? How to solve the numericals in physics. So what I have seen is most pe most people are most student students are confused. Like they don't know how to approach towards a numerical, how to write the basic things, how to how to get how to know right which formula to apply, right? Which equations we have to use. So guys, in this uh, basically video, I will be telling you some tips. Right, that uh, that may be helpful for you about this numerical solving. Okay, guys. So first thing is C. Before so uh, working towards the numerical, I think we should work towards making our theory strong. Right, because only if your concepts are clear or uh, right, if you are if you are well versed with the all the, the all theory from different different books. Right. So in only after then you will be able to get the numericals very much clearly. So that's what is written here. Remember, every theory is a work in progress, guys. Right? Don't think like we are reading a theory, right? It's a you know it it is not much helpful. It's not like that. I can recall whenever I used to study in my twelfth class, basically. So I used to after attending the lecture, right? So I used to study from many many books, right? From uh, Newton, I had from S. C. Verma, right? From Resting Holiday, I had many books from N. C. I. T. Also. So I had I used to read single thing, single derivation. For example, if I want to find the electric field along the axis of a ring, so that single derivation I used to read from many books, so that I get a different approach. I I get a different uh, you know different conditioning or different things, different concepts about the same thing. So first thing is your theory should be very very strong. Your theory should be very very strong. Now, once you are done with the theory, right? Let's focus on the mathematics. Why? Because, guys, mathematics is the language of physics, right? If you want to study the physics, mathematics is a language for it, right? Or and you you all know that if you if you lack in language, you won't be able to communicate well. You won't be able to do it with that well, right? So physics in physics, mathematics is the language. So, guys, basically, description of a problem becomes easy. description of a problem becomes easy if we know the correct mathematics so mathematics means basically see whenever we solve numericals in physics there are different approach towards solving a problem like we should be knowing the algebra trigonometry calculus differentiation integration so these are the tools of mathematics right plus binomial theorem somewhere also so if you are well versed these ba the basics of this i am not talking about you have to study the you know trigonometry or algebra in very very you know deep thing but you should be well versed with the basic formulas and basic equations how to use those formulas so okay guys so there are techniques such as algebra trigonometry calculus can be used to make basic equation in physics for example if i want to make ba any basic equation like equation of motion so equation of motion can be uh, you know can be derived by using calculus by using integration differentiation so only if you are well versed with those uh, techniques in mathematics then you will be able to you know get this uh, 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 equation thing okay so mathematics is very very important guys for example if you want to find the gravitational field on the axis of a uniformly charged ring we apply some basic calculus like you want to find the electric field so you you take small element then you integrate it then some int into that uh, some uh, a bit of trigonometry is also used there so guys you should be well versed with all these things right so first steps towards solving the numericals i think is you should be well versed with the theory second steps is you should be well versed with the basic mathematics okay is it clear guys fine now what is how why i i am telling you the like you are you should be good with the concept the you should be good with the concepts and the text guys see it is very very important if you first focus on the text and concepts discussed in the chapter they are relevant guys right for example if you are if, if your teacher uh, you know makes you drive makes tells you some equation some derivation so look as uh, uh, listen to him or her very very carefully which method he or she is using then read it from the book and just compare how did he uh, you know he made you solve that uh, question and how are you solving it or how you can see that thing in the book right guys so that's th by the uh, you, you know this way you will be able to get the things in different different methods and the more method you know about the question it is said the more method you know about the question that means the more you you are well versed with the concept guys okay 
so you can accomplish this goal by first reading the test book first read the test book before attending the lecture right why this is helpful see guys suppose uh, i am i am going to teach you in today's class the effective capacitance right and uh, this is your obviously first class and you have never heard of this thing effective capacitance and capacitor all those things and you just come into the class i teach you something you just listen to me and make notes and all those things so guys do do you think that will you be able to get the 100% of the class obviously not because you are not uh, you know you know you are you are not known to the certain terms certain terms that i may be using in the class right so that means you won't be able to get the 100% in the class but if you read it before the class if you read if you prepare yourself before the lecture so why is it helpful see see first thing is you are you feel confident about the lecture like you, like you read the capacitance so you are confident that i uh, today i will be going reading this thing so i will you will have you will show some interest you will, you know you some interest will be generated in you inside right so this is the first thing second thing is you will be able to get more out of you know more out of the lecture as compared to the other students who have not done this thing so you should do this prepare lecture beforehand right so this will be helpful for you clear now when reading the test book you should jot down the points just take highlighter and uh, point mark the points that are you know that you find interesting also mark the point that are not clear to you to ask them in the class with your teacher right you can highlight your doubts highlight your doubts for example when i used to solve the numericals what my habit is i used to tick them down like this is done this is done this is also done in this question this method is used i write them in you know in small words in this question this method is used in this question this method is used so by this way you you know you know different you feel confident like i have completed this right also you are you know you know ki how much how, how much the questions out of like for example 80 numericals are there let's say in, in a book so out, out of 80 numericals how much have you done how much are average how much are below average how much questions you know are you and you need to do again you need to ask your doubts from so guys this uh, thing is you know some in certain terms this things this thing may be helpful for you okay clear guys now there are small steps if you want to solve the numericals first is the approach is you should read the problem and first try it for by yourself guys like if i give you a question what i do in my class whenever i give a question to students i ask them to pause the video and try it by yourself this helps how because if you try it by yourself you may you know you may not be able to do it or you may be able to do it by a method but if you try it by yourself and then look at the solution of the teacher teacher may use different method so you this way you know you know you the concepts are more clear to you or you may be know, know knowing the more than one method to solve the problem only if you understand the problem then try solving it first step is to understand the problem guys what is the basic problem in physics with the students is they don't understand the problems you should be well versed like what is given what has been asked what uh, right this should be very very clear only if you know how to only if you know what to do then you will get again then you you will get how to do it right so this thing you should look at the problems by yourself and note down which equations and method should be used the equations the equation of motion or which method or which mathematics part of mathematics which trigonometric formulas which integration will be used in that thing next is better plan out a strategy on how to solve any problem by yourself guys that's what i am emphasizing emphasizing again and again try the problem by yourself pen down the information given in the question and then focus on the quantity needed to be calculated first you should be knowing what to calculate first you should be knowing what is given in the question then you should be knowing what to calculate then you should figure out which equations to use clear so these are the basic things you should be knowing before solving any numerical guys okay so i hope this is the thing you this is this, this thing is clear to you how to solve the numericals now there is a small you know suggestion basically so reviewing all basic equations and derivation practice on daily basis guys see you you have you may have heard that uh, line that practice makes a man perfect so you have to practice daily few numericals just set a target like you have to practice this much of numerical target may be different for you initially so you have to practice numericals on a daily basis what will this will give you a smooth command on problem solving and deep depth understanding 
एंड नॉलेज ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट सी यू शुड प्रैक्टिस यू शुड रीड थ्योरी एवरी डे यू शुड प्रैक्टिस नोमेरिकल्स एवरी डे एवरी डे का इट्स नॉट लाइक यू हैव रेड अ फिजिक्स फॉर लाइक एट आवर्स इन अ सिंगल डे एंड नो स्टडी फॉर नेक्स्ट टेन डेज इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट प्रैक्टिस डेली इवन इट इज इवन इवन इफ इट इज फॉर ओनली वन आवर ओके गाइज सो दिस इज द थिंग यू शुड बी नोइंग क्लियर एज द रिचर्ड फेमेंट सेड a noble laureate once said you know nothing in physics until you have practiced right you know nothing is physics until you have practice so practice makes you will make you perfect right in physics in solving numericals clear guys so there is a small suggestion from my side to the books for numerical you can follow sc verma very very good book bm sharma is there sengage publications right the numericals are very very good it's for ge advanced people basically right then ncrt and the theory of ncrt the examples and the back exercise the additional exercise of ncrt is good right next is we have a pearson iit foundation series you can also follow that next is mtg publications all in one science this is for basically you know you can also take this book this we, it has different variety of numericals topic wise so this may be helpful for board especially for board for board examination this may be helpful for you right guys especially for board examination and also previous year questions you should be doing next is fundamental in physics reasoning holiday guys this book will give you a deeper understanding and a different perspective about any topic because it's a international book so if you read this book you will get into a different zone about any concept so this is very good last one erodo problem in physics erodo guys it's a basic it's a good book very very good book for numerical solving but i would suggest first read all these books then jump into this one you know to right the numericals are you know you need very very great, great concept and deeper understanding only then you will you can solve the numericals of this book right so these are the few suggestions from my side that you can follow clear guys okay so i hope you have got all these concepts okay guys so and i wish uh, these may be and i hope in fact that these may be helpful for you right just can uh, just mention in the comment how you know these things have have made you you know made you get the concept you know get your concept very very clear to you okay guys so that's all for this okay so i hope you are all are doing well good luck